week at COP, we're praising God with our mighty men in uniform who have been on an away mission to Eastern Mindanao, where our wonderful 3,063 military souls gave their lives to Jesus in a series of outreaches. This week at COP, also because of our mission's giving, our Freedom Team was able to minister at the Tagaytay City Jail, where 393 inmates found their freedom in Jesus. This week at COP, the Mighty Men in Uniform were also able to reach out in Lipa City, where 618 candidate officers and soldiers were saved. This week at COP, once again, we had a win-win situation in our daily manna as the Barclay office sent 14 workers to participate in the feeding. The Gospel of Salvation was also shared with these workers. Also, one of our partner schools in the feeding opened the door for a Christian musical concert for their recollection activity. We're rejoicing in 874 students who heard the gospel from Bravo Team along with Pastoras Judel and Aika. This week at COP, some heartwarming testimonies coming our way from Happy Land and Aroma members. Angel Luna was healed from primary tuberculosis. Angel is the daughter of a faithful choir member at the Aroma Chapel, and she doesn't miss attending kids' church there. Since 2016, this healing has been the mom's prayer request, and the doctors have confirmed it. We're certainly rejoicing with her that now Angel gets to go to school regularly. In fact, she received an award of honor this quarter. Marivic Rodriguez always asked her Connect Group to pray for the opening of her Merienda business. God answered that prayer and she's fully operational. Elsa Katudai thought it would not be possible to reopen her failed Sari Sari store, but as we can see, God answered this prayer too and it is again fully stocked as God provided the finances. This week at COB, Dedications! From our wonderful branch in Luwag, we have two business dedications. Jer Chua dedicated his food business named TJ Food House after his son. The Cabayas family, all active in serving the Lord, dedicated their coffee shop to the Lord, a harvest they've been praying for since 2011. A little closer to home, a couple from COP Manila is rejoicing in the dedication of four truly huge trucks. David and Tantana Lunan are thanking God for their condo unit. From North Campus, Connect leaders Jenny Lynn and Royce are praising God for their house and lot. From South, Lito and Christy Espanol dedicated their two new businesses to the Lord, a coffee business and an automotive repair shop. Mark and Debbie of River of Life Choir are praising God for their brand new red 2018 Honda City. One of our own MSPS sister friends is praising God for the dedication of a wonderful harvest, her own two-bedroom house. From COP Cebu, the Puhuida family praising God for their brand new red Hyundai Accent. And Cynthia Aguinaldo praising God for the dedication of her brand new Toyota Avanza and the dedication of her Derma Clinic to the Lord. This week at COP, what a great time Main Campus had at Wow God Exhibit A. I cannot be defeated. That's a wrap for our March Wow God Worship Nights, but in two short weeks, we start Wow God April in South Campus. That will be April 5, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Coming up at COP, to let all the parents know our Just for Kids summer music programs are about to happen, this will be in Maine, East and South this summer at various dates and will offer both music and dance classes. Starting April 4, Maine and East, it's your turn. As of May 9, Maine and South, it will be your turn. Please inquire at your own campus to know the ages being served each week for our Just for Kids summer music. Coming up at COP Young People, you can make the summer incredible by participating in our youth summer activities. Get plugged in at Jive April 10 to 14. Be charged in YSTBS April 18 to 28. Be downloaded May 9 to 19 at Youth and Teens Levels 1 to 3. And be ready to be installed as you finish Level 4 May 23 to 26. Are you a graduate of 2018? Allow us to celebrate with you. Graduates Breakfast with Pastor Sumrall will be on March 31, Saturday, 9 a.m. at Main Campus River Room. See you there and let's praise the Lord of the Harvest together. Coming up at COP, how many years have you been coming to School of the Cross? 
It's been an annual must-do at COP for well over a decade, and no matter the years, it just keeps getting better and better. School of the Cross will be this coming Friday, Good Friday starting at 9 a.m. and ending later in the afternoon with a communion service. Come with your iPad fully charged or your pencils well sharpened and spend the day learning God's great word. If you're concerned about lunch, at East, Jollibee and McDo will be open. At South, the usual concessionaire will be on hand. And at Main, the garden area will house some yummy concessionaire selections. So bring your own lunch or grab some food with some friends. Coming up at COP next Saturday and Sunday, in all services we're in for a great treat as our young people bring us The Witness, a musical presentation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. This will be in all services, all campuses, so bring a friend who needs the Lord. It has been another great week at COP.